Hey everyone, we are finally here with the 2500 subscriber special video for which I have planned to make a kind of tutorial video on how to make that cam that you've seen on my main character and this character of mine does not have a proper cam setup yet so I figured I would choose a location that would serve as an interesting uh, starting ground so to say We are down here below uh, Morgantown at this intersection of these roads and the river and there are multiple reasons why I have chosen this place in particular First of all, because there is a nice little uh, road that's just edging around here, as you can see, coming from that direction, that direction, that direction. There are usually scavengers here, which uh, actually give a quite a nice of a um, kind of neighborhood, I guess, even though one of them is for some reason dead. Uh, that wasn't me. <laughs> uh, anyway, and the river, of course, is gonna serve as a good source of water, as well as some of the infrastructure sort of setup uh, margin so to speak I'm gonna explain what I mean uh, in particular if you look at my camp boundaries as you can see there is about it's the same space over there as over here uh, the river is sort of in the middle uh, no actually that's a bit smaller that part but that's intentional for this one I actually thought I would do a proper camp infrastructure sort of like a mini village so to speak, and the river will actually help me achieve that. So, uh, I'm just gonna jump ahead a bit in the video and I'm gonna showcase how I'm gonna set up the layout. Okay, I think I'm pretty much done with the foundations and I'm gonna explain what I did and why I did it. First of all, let's start from where you are supposed to be arriving from. This here is gonna be the trading caravan's uh, headquarters, sort of. Uh, you're gonna notice that all of the kind of foundation blocks are sort of small. This is a 2x3 and most others are like maybe 2x2 two two or something like that. I really didn't uh, go for really big, but despite not using really large sets of foundations together, it's still gonna feel like it's an expensive area. So this is gonna be the sort of storage space for the, for the caravan sort of hub. You go up here. You're gonna have to go through here, this is already gonna be the building's part and this is gonna be the entrance. You can either go through and then go out to the balcony sort of thing or go inside and go further in which is gonna be the headquarters sort of um, administrating office. You can go down here and this is gonna be a the craft workshop, uh, the, the craftsman area, sort of. Then you can go down from here, go over to the sort of place where the town itself starts this is probably gonna be just some hangout area and this isn't gonna stay like this I just wanted to show how I actually measured up so this this is important to be connected because these area this area and that area is gonna be connected but not by foundations and I'm gonna delete these already but rather I'm gonna make a bridge here and you will see why that is gonna be important uh, I think that should be enough so this is gonna be a entrance out to the river, if you know somebody wants to like, I don't know, wash their clothes or something like that. You know, we are still in the rural part of the country, supposedly. Everything is rural after the uh, apocalypse, but whatever. This is gonna be a connecting part, I'm not gonna delete this one. Um, but this is gonna be one building here, and then this is gonna be another building. This is only a 2x2 two two with a one missing, but that's because I couldn't actually place this on top of the rock. Uh, but this is fine, we can make use of this place as well. And there is gonna be some miscellaneous um, form uh, tiles here. And last but not least, down there is gonna be a fishing shack. And the way I actually put it there, uh, as you can see, uh, if I try to put it there again, it won't let me because I cannot put it that close to the rocks. So instead what you need to do is just to put something in the middle of the river and then attach one there and it's gonna shove it inside the rocks there which is gonna give you give us a nice uh, foundation to work with so now that you know how i made the foundations let's start decorating the place and setting up some walls all righty so we are pretty much done with walling and everything as you can see i actually managed to pull up a bathroom as well uh, at least that's what it's gonna be decorated as this is the building that I showcased earlier, as you can see it's a sort of two-sectioned building. And yes, I did manage to put up some more walling on the top to make it uh, look a bit bigger. And yes, this is in general a good tip I can give you, that if you can afford 
try to make the roofing especially non just not, not just flat or one story high if you manage to make it at least uh, half a story bigger just with these uh, sort of triangular half walls then it would give it a lot more characteristics uh, or a lot more personality rather so once you go inside here as you can see I actually uh, cover this little farm area here up more if I don't fall down that is but you can also go down and through there on the bottom floor so you can see there is already a lot of thing going on and I haven't even started decorating this thing and uh, this is where you came through by the way so come in there came through here uh, this is gonna be still walled up I have yet to decide how to do that yet and you can go down here to the river or you can go up I actually switched out the bridge with the wooden parts instead of these metal uh, fence or wiring then I'm gonna make a sort of makeshift staircase up here because this is gonna be a defense position if because you know this is a rather good vantage point to see down the river but of course you can go back down here go through here as I showed earlier again I put up some more uh, height here just to make it more expensive and then you can go up back here to the uh, trading hub which is still leaning in its roof, uh, it's still uh, waiting for its roof, but that's gonna happen soon. So next up is gonna be decoration and I'm gonna go through each and every building how I did it and why I did it as I did so. Just a quick little tip to actually make this railing on the side continuous. Uh, you cannot actually place down uh, these railings on the side of this staircase. So what I did was to first take out this staircase so that it's not here anymore place down floors like this all the way there, put down the railings, then if you delete them the railings will actually stay and then you can go back and place down the stairs themselves uh, in their place and it will stay on the side. So this is a little bit of a trick in case you are wondering how I did that and why it's not snapping onto your stairs uh, top. So now that we are done with this one we can actually go back and now just put back our um, farm area here. This should let us Again, if it doesn't let you snap like a flooring to the side of the um, stairs here, just put one up to the side of this one here, or that one in that case. Uh, this is actually skewed. So like this, and then just go around here. As you can see, I can actually now place it down there. And one there. And now you can delete those. There you go, this is how you get around, because build order in Fallout 76 really is important. If you can't build something, try to build it the other way around and it might work. Alright, we are officially done and let's go through the camp in a tour-like fashion to showcase what we actually have it build up. As you can see, this is the Morgantown Blue Ridge Caravan Company uh, headquarters and of course to signify that we've got a carriage full of packed goods outside as well as some of the wall decor on the side just to make it a bit more interesting. Now we could either go inside and I think that's what we're gonna do. But there was another way to the other side if you decide to go that way. Inside we've got our Settler Wanderer which I managed to find when I was looking for a camp location. She's a lovely lady. Uh, she's got his uh, her office here and as you can see some storage cabinets, safe and all that just to make it a bit more lived in. Sadly, display cases currently are disabled, so I couldn't actually display anything here to match the theme, but you can uh, bet that I'm gonna place out something like a, probably, a, I don't know, a tea set or something. Um, yes, yes. And some more decor here with a cuckoo clock or whatever you pronounce that. And that's pretty much the headquarters. As you can see, it's not that big, but it's very densely lived in. Outside, we've got ourselves a little bit of a statue, with a statue mount, as well as some lightning and some side decor, again to make the wall a bit more interesting, because otherwise it would be a bit too barebone for my taste. Go down, we got some lights, and we can go to the right first, as you can see here is gonna be the sort of storage for the caravan, because of course you need something like that. And of course the vending machine is in here, because you can actually buy some of them from them. It's all within the theme and that's why I like it so much. Moving on, we got ourselves a little bit of an outside area here uh, with a fireplace to sit at and the cooking station. 
we've got the tools uh, label, the workshop areas here, sort of. Again, I use the side of the um, headquarters as a walling for this one, and sadly the plants are peeking through a bit, but, you know, I could probably pull it a bit back and then it wouldn't be that big of an issue. Anyway, we got all of the crafting workshops here, or crafting stations. As you can see, not much decor otherwise, this isn't supposed to be a super decorated place. And then we can go through this way. I used some of the new um, wallpapers on this part to make it a bit more different from the rest. We got some shelves, some flora to make it uh, a bit more green. Some appliances there and some hangout area for people to play darts and maybe play the, play the piano. Going upwards, now we got the makeshift stairs which I don't even, don't even need to jump on to actually you know, just walk up. As you can see it's perfectly good, uh, perfectly working. Um, it's three tires and then in between each tire uh, stacking there is a little bit of a, I don't know, toolbox or whatever this is called. You know, it, looked, it looks a bit silly but again, it works. I don't need to jump and I can walk up here. Which leads me to a vantage point which actually, you know, sees down quite far. All the way to that bridge right there. And of course, since he's probably gonna be stationing here for a while, he's got a little bit of a cooler here and some lamps to give light at the um, in the night. We got a windmill here to give some power and also to make this part a bit more lived in. And going back, we've got the ammunition machine here, which produces some 10 millimeters for my SMG. And then we can go through the bridge. Now, yeah, I probably should have done a bit more decoration on this bridge, but I ran out of budget. Still, we got the um, pylons up, which is nice. And the turret, because there is usually enemies spawning that direction. The roof is also kitted out with the um, little bit of a farm area here. This is much more protected than if I put it uh, down there, because then, of course, the animals would attack it the first. But this way it's actually, I think, much nicer to look at and also a bit more functional. I could fit in uh, three razor grain, two tatoes, two corn and one mute fruit, which should be more than enough for a camp like this. Going down, we got some of, and again, a sort of like a chill out area here, with a bit of a flora again, because that's always nice. And you can go out here to get some water from the most useless water well ever, and uh, an even more useless uh, water meal sort of thing. Going back, we got a bit of a bar here. I actually plan to put the fancy shotgun because I actually have it out there. And we got a keg there, and you can sit down if you are tired as the bartender. And some cooler for the drink storage. Outside, this uh, bench actually, this, this is I think the long pew, what's it's called? It's actually just as long as a one tile. So it fits perfectly in this little area here, and I put a bit of a table there, just so that I can, you know, fill this area up a bit more. I can't actually reach it, but there is some water I can grab from here. And going backwards... I said going backwards... This is the sort of bedroom area. Now, I could have done a sort of windowed place here, but I found this one to be a bit... Uh, more interesting, you know, you can actually do windows like this, do a half wall and do a pylon like this. Actually, no, uh, the reason uh, this has to be done a different way is that you actually need to delete this. Uh, do this pylon to the bottom first and then do a second one on top. Then you can delete the bottom one and then replace it with the half wall and that's how you do it. Anyway, some more decor here, the bed bed uh, beds for the people living here. You know, just, just imagine that there are more people than me and the lady out there. Then we got some lamps that I got from the Twitch Prime thingy, something, I don't know what that is. And that's pretty much this room done. Going outside... We got a bit of a fenced off area here, which basically just leads down to this part, as well as the uh, fisherman's shack. I plan on doing a, or putting a knife here for, you know, skinning the fish. And, you know, some other, just again, storing the fish and just, I don't know, fishing from this chair. All within the theme. This is a half wall plus a uh, angled wall set up, by the way. Now, back up here, we got the last place, which is the restrooms, as you can see there. 
and yeah people here should not be really um you know what, what do you call this shy about them themselves because you know this is post-apocalypse so yeah it's basically a shared bedroom bathroom sorry uh with some decor inside also you can store your uh, clothes here as long as you are uh, while you are bathing and i will put up some soap you know um, maybe cork cork scrap because it looks like a sponge as well as some other stuff here to fit the theme and i think that's pretty much it oh and yeah say hi to the uh yeah you know what these guys also live here okay this is canon for now uh, scavenger one and scavenger two is also living here and they never shut up so yeah that's pretty much the camp itself as you can see it's quite expensive um expensive not like not not you know not the opposite of cheap but the opposite of small um and yeah, that's pretty much uh, kind of a short showcase or a, I don't know, a guide maybe on how to make a village-like camp. Hopefully you guys find it uh, somewhat fun and uh, enjoyable. And thank you again for 2,500 subscribers. See you in the next one, guys.